It's 105.5. That was the Foo Fighters with Best of You. Good morning. Welcome to the morning show. Hope everyone is having a terrific Tuesday morning. The Talk of the Town with City Manager Andrew Bowser is proudly sponsored by Clancy's, Shelby County's oldest fast food restaurant. Nothing fancy, just fantastic food. And joining me in the studio, I have Mr. Andrew Bowser. Good morning. How are you? I'm well, Tracy. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You br- you brought some people with I you this bring morning. Some people, you know, uh, second week in a row, bringing some police department officials. And mm-hmm. this time I brought the brass. I brought Chief Mark McDonough and Deputy Chief Aaron Rohde with me. Wanted to do a quick introduction mm-hmm. for the DC. And then I wanted to kick it off to the chief to uh, to talk about uh, some opportunities that are out there. Awesome. Okay, let's hear about yeah. it. And and welcome. Well, first we're going to start with Aaron Rohde. He is the deputy chief here at the City of Sydney Police Department. And welcome to Sydney. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And this is, you said that you've been here for four weeks now? This is my fourth week. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. And you, tell everybody a little bit about yourself. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Uh, I'm by way of Bluffton, just a short trek up I-75. Born and raised, still live there with my family. Thankfully, we are moving to Sydney here immediately, uh, which mm-hmm. we're very excited to you know, integrate ourselves in the community. Uh, I think that's important, being the deputy chief of police. I've come from the Lima Police Department. I spent 13 and a half years there, left as a lieutenant. Uh, that was a tremendous opportunity for me, a great, uh, you know, a, a great workplace. Uh, I just, I'm very excited to be here at Sydney, and I'm very, very enthusiastic to do a good job and, and serve the city. Yeah, and welcome, and that's great. You're going to live here and be in the community and see how it all works. And, and Lima's a little bit bigger than Sydney, so is there, was there anything that when you decided to come make the move to Sydney, what was the one thing that you saw in Sydney that you're like, ooh, I, I want to move there. I want, I want to be a part of that. Yeah, that's a great question. Sydney, to me, you know, it's, it has the big city feel because it has all the utility of a big city, but it also feels like a hometown, which I'm, which I'm accustomed to. You know, living in Bluffton, 4,000 mm-hmm. people, it, it just feels like you know everyone. Sydney has that same exact feel. I can drive out to Lowe's if I need to get some lumber, or I can go downtown and go to a mom-and-pop restaurant, and it feels like you're at home. So that's mm-hmm. something that was a, a big attractor for my family and I. Yeah, and I, I told you Bluffton's a cute little town. It's yeah. a cute little town. So is Sydney. So yep. welcome. Thank you. And so as part of being deputy chief, what is your key role going to be? Yeah, mainly, I, you know, I provide assistance to the chief of police. Um, you know, he has directives and policies that he needs to push down through the rank and file. I take that under my wing. I run the day-to-day operations of the police department. And then I also oversee the administrative section and the investigative bureau. So just kind of a a big picture guy, making sure that everything's running as smoothly as it can, streamline any services. Uh, You know, at the end of the day, just make sure that the citizens of Sydney feel like their police department's behind them. Yeah. And so you've been, how long have you been a police police officer? Uh, This will be my 15th year. 15th year you don't look old enough I hear that all the time I always say I found the fountain of youth yeah well share it with Sydney (laughs) well we welcome you so much and if you you. see if you see Deputy Rohde out please welcome him to Sydney and be kind (laughs) and also so we're joined by the police chief and there's going to be some opportunity you have opportunities to join the police force is that correct that's correct Tracy yes uh definitely we're looking at um to uh, have entry-level police officers, so we are looking for some men and women who really want to make a difference in their community, and the opportunity is here with the Sydney Police Department. We are actually going through the uh, application process right now, which will expire on Friday, September 8th, so now is the time. So how can they do this? Real simple. Go to our Human Resources Department at the City of Sydney, and they have all the information there that will tell you all the dates, times, et cetera, what, what we need uh, for them to apply. And um, basically, we're just excited that we can bring on some new blood into uh, the Sydney Police Department, and here's a great opportunity to do so. Yeah, and so, like you said, if you want, if you want to apply, go to your website and find your application. And so a little bit, if somebody's listening and before they go there, what are some of the qualifications? Great, great questions, yeah. 21 years of age to, to uh, be appointed up to age 35. Um, and then, like I said, we will do uh, the application process. Next after that, they'll do a physical agility test. They need to do the uh, national testing um, network, so we'll tell them how they can, they can actually uh, enter into that process. And then we do a background and then We'll do interviews. Those that uh, that move forward to give a conditional offer. Then once if they once they pass their 
physical, psychological, and drug, drug testing. And uh, we'll kind of go from there and we'll bring them on board. Mm -hmm. so, so we're looking for both uh, those that are looking to go to the academy that don't have their state certification. And we're always looking for those that uh, maybe want to come in that have their certification, maybe right out of the academy. Now's the perfect time. And uh, they'll go right into our field training program. So really excited about that. Yeah, and it's a great opportunity. And I have to say a, a lot about the Sydney Police Department because you've got some veterans there that when, once you're here, you're going to be here for 20 years. <laughs> there's, exactly. been a, there's been a lot. So you have a great program. And so, yeah, once you get in there, if you're listening, you want to be a police officer, I encourage you to. That would be a great career and a great, great town. And you guys seem pretty cool so it'd be a it'd be a great opportunity for somebody listening that wants a career change and go be a police officer i i'm too i can't i'm <laughs> too old man <laughs> i thought about Love it, it. Love it so. so if you have any questions for the police chief or aaron you want to provide your information so they can reach out to you because the community is important and you want to know concerns and all of that so what, how, how can they get a hold of you? It's best to get a hold of us. Either give us a call there at, through the dispatch section. It's 937-498-2351. Uh, or if they get online, we have our emails. They can just click right on there and send us an email then as well. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of good things happening in the city of Sydney, and you two are proof of that. So there's all kinds of good things coming. Thank you so much. That was the, our Sydney police chief and our deputy chief, Aaron Rohde. And thank you. If you see them out, Please be kind and nice. <laughs> and that was the Talk of the Town with City Manager Andrew Bowser, proudly sponsored by Clancy's, Shelby County's oldest fast food restaurant. Nothing fancy, just fantastic food. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Coming up next, after a few commercials, got your local weather. It's Hits 105.5.